Welcome to Restoration Church once again. It is Monday, March 23rd, and we're like into month of coronavirus uh, outbreak and the concerns of uh, the virus. We want to continue to give you a source of hope and help and uh, just encouragement. Many of you have had family that are now tested for the virus, and you're anxiously awaiting word. I received a phone call uh, today from one of our parishioners that was under quarantine due to the test, and her results came back negative. And what a wonderful moment that was for uh, her and her entire family. And I know others of you are anxiously waiting as well to hear the test back from from you or your family members. And so we want to give you word to help you for that uh, anxiety that you're feeling. If we look to 1 Peter chapter number 5, verses 6 and 7, we see a source of hope. Verse 6 gives us our prerequisite for what God wants to do for us in verse 7. Verse 6 tells us that we are to humble ourselves in the palm of God's hand. That's a tough task for some of us because we tend to want to, to do it on our own. We want to make it ourselves. We want to get through. But this outbreak has proven that we can't do that. If nothing else has, this has proven that we can't do that. And so we have to come to the place to where we humble ourselves in the hands of God. And then verse 7 tells us that if we will do that, we can cast our cares upon the Lord. Our anxiety, our frustrations, our worries, our fears upon him. And he will carry us through. He has shoulders big enough to take care of of your worries and cares and concerns. He has blood enough to cover your sicknesses and your infections and your viruses. He is the risen Lord and Savior, and he cares for us. You know, I talked to you yesterday when we were speaking in our church service about doing some fasting and praying. That's one of the ways in which we can humble ourselves. And so I encourage you once again today to join with us here at Restoration Church because several of our folks are, are doing exactly that this week. They're fasting and praying against the coronavirus, not just that it would not come to our doorsteps, but it, that, it would be, that it would be destroyed and killed by the hands of God. You know, just like God took care of the enemies of the children of Israel, he can take care of this enemy of you and me today. And so we pray against the coronavirus that it would be stopped in its tracks and that the blood of Jesus Christ, as it was covered over the doorpost uh, of the children of Israel, that lamb significant of the blood of Jesus Christ, we pray that it would be covering our lives as well and stop this virus from spreading. Let it be that the news media has to report that something powerful, amazing, wonderful has taken place and the only source that they can give to it is God Almighty. Let it be that through this thing, somehow, some way, that we would once again return to the source of our strength, our hope, and our faith, and that's Jesus Christ. And I encourage you as a family to do that, even in the face of the darkest times. Have faith in God. And I'll guarantee you, he will see you through. Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. God bless you. We're praying for you. And we hope that these times of, of encouragement will help you through these troubled times. Hope to see you soon.